Today, we will talk about the debt-to-capital ratio. The debt-to-capital ratio is a measurement of a company's financial leverage, calculated by taking the company's interest-bearing debt, both short- and long-term liabilities, and dividing it by the total capital. Total capital is all interest-bearing debt plus shareholders' equity, including items such as common stock, preferred stock, and minority interest. The debt-to-capital ratio is calculated by dividing a company's total debt by its total capital, which is total debt plus total shareholders' equity. The debt-to-capital ratio gives analysts and investors a better idea of a company's financial structure and whether or not the company is a suitable investment. The higher the debt-to-capital ratio, the riskier the company, as it indicates the company is funded by more debt than equity, leading to a higher liability to repay the debt and a greater risk of forfeiture on the loan if the debt cannot be paid. For example, assume a firm has $100 million in liabilities, of which only $80 million is interest-bearing securities. When considering an investment, a portfolio manager may look at a company's debt-to-capital ratio to determine its financial leverage and make comparisons with other companies before making an investment decision. The debt-to-capital ratio divides interest-bearing debt by total capital, while the debt ratio divides total debt by total assets. The debt-to-capital ratio excludes all other liabilities besides interest-bearing debt. The debt-to-capital ratio may be affected by the accounting conventions a company uses, and values on financial statements may not reflect the true current market values. It's important to ensure the correct values are used in the calculation to prevent distortion. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The debt-to-capital ratio is a measurement of a company's financial leverage, indicating how much of the company is funded by debt. 2. The higher the debt-to-capital ratio, the riskier the company, making it a potentially less suitable investment. 3. While most companies finance their operations through a mixture of debt and equity, it's important to consider the total capital to gauge a company's financial health. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.